let's do Route 66 today, and uh, I am going to get off of the main roads. I did hit up a Walmart. It's got like $100 worth of food and other supplies that I will need because it is going to be quite some time before we see anything that looks like civilization. Uh, we're going to go to the old two-lane highway, the original Route 66, and um, this is going to be a lot of fun. I think this, this next week is going to be a lot of fun. So here we go. Alright guys, we're on a dirt road and usually that means something good. Usually that means, because everything good is on a dirt road, it's not on pavement. And uh, we're going to be pulling in here to the Roy Rogers Ranch. And still no service. I will say this though, just so you guys know, I am not sure how it's going to be for uploading videos. There's really spotty internet and service on Route 66. If I've planned this right though, oh are they closed? Um, if I plan this right, I will be about 200 miles away from this point when you see this video, and um, I will be uploading videos when I have the opportunity, when I have Wi-Fi and service. So hopefully you've still been seeing a video, a new video for me every other day. Hopefully. Um, we'll see. I don't know. Hey there, I am Hi there, I'm um, out at the gate and I was wondering, are you closed to the public today? Uh, Say that one more time. I'll meet you at the gate. Hold on one second. Thank you. Never hurts to call. You never know. Uh, I came a long way out here and it looks like it's closed, but maybe we'll see what he has to say here. Oh man, old Yoda is going to need a good wash after all these dirt roads. Oh gosh, and just like that, we're filthy. I'm just going to back up a little more. They are closed to the public, but I am going to get a little sneak tour in here. It's a working ranch with a campground, so I'll grab my camera. So we're inside the Roy Rogers Ranch now. Uh, these are the original stables where uh, Roy Rogers uh, actually raised racehorses. They bred and took care of the racehorses here. So this is original. This is a, this is a working uh, Longhorn Ranch here right off Route 66. Who's a good horse? Hey, you. How we doing? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Nice place you got here. I like it. Uh, they do have a campground over there, so he was telling me about they're getting that uh, up and running for the summer, but yeah, here's where all the magic happens. So this barn here was uh, built in 19, or completed in 1964 here, the Roy Rogers barn. We would house the thoroughbreds in here. Oh, okay. breed, we would go to breed them. Yeah, very cozy. Doctor's buggy. Yeah, the owner still uses that one. We built, we built the town for the movies to be shot. Uh, Coyote Bill was shot here. Uh, there's another one called Heat in the West that should be coming out pretty soon. It's already been released in Europe. Okay. This is very neat. And you just change it up a little bit. 
to however, or, or you keep it pretty much the same? Pretty much the same. Sometimes they decorate a little bit more. We uh, bring in like water troughs, things like that for them. But for the <laughs> most part, this is how it actually looks. A lot of fun. <laughs> Interesting. I'll have to check out the movies. Yeah, I and mean, this is, uh, we, have a, we have an actual saloon. Now you're talking. Nice work. This is fun. Wow. This is about once a month, the owner invites a lot of his other buddies, and they come to play Pharaoh. Huh. So, which is the game that you see in Tombstone. Oh, okay. Very neat. This is really cool. Yeah, any films shot in here? This is like a scene from Coyote Bill right here, where he was sitting here. You can see the pepper blast in the shotgun. Oh, wow. Coyote Bill. Yeah, and then they, what he did is he shot the guy out the window. Huh. And they put that fake candy glass in there. Yep. And they shoot him out. Very cool. It's pretty neat when you actually watch a movie be filmed, and then you think, oh, oh. Then you go watch a movie in the movie theaters, and you're like, oh, okay, I wonder how they, and then you start thinking how they did those yes. things. Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> Get your schnauzer out of the... <laughs> You're fine, dude. You're good. You're good. My patience paid off this time, guys. I feel like in another life I would have got here, but they're closed? What the heck? They're not... I mean, I came all the way out, but you know. Um, ended up getting a nice tour from Francois there, and they're working on getting this place up and running for the summer. Uh, I think the campground's going to be cool. And that spot... I'm going to look up and try to find some of the movies that were filmed in that little area there, because... Awesome. Totally worked out. All right, I'm gonna get back on the road here, Jax. That train scared the cat fur right off you, huh? Sorry, guy. Sorry. So just about five miles north of the Roy Rogers Ranch is Elmer's Bottle Tree Ranch. Right up here. So we'll see if this one's open. Alright, well Jax enjoys his lunch in there. Hey, Route 66 is all about quirky, quirky, quirky stuff. This is pretty elaborate. It's it's steel and wood and just bottles. On top of that one, there's a uh, little payphone at the top of that one. Oh my gosh. This is just too cool. Funky, funky, funky. Did I mention I like it? You know, a lot of work went into creating this. Kind of having flashbacks of uh, Slab City just a little bit, but but this is on historic Route 66. And I love the old Coca-Cola stuff all over. It really is. What we got going on here? A pulley motor of some sort. Yeah. Oh, they would just be heartbroken here if an earthquake hit here. Oh, whiskey bottles. Just Every kind of bottle. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, whoa. Route 66 soda? I did not know about that. There's an old machine gun on that one. And an electric guitar on that one. The plan is to head kind of up towards Barstow, or maybe I'm really close to Barstow already, and uh, find a place to camp and call home for the night. Really loving all this history though. This is this is a lot of fun. I'm happy to share it with you guys. So I didn't make it to Barstow, and that's okay. Uh, I actually uh, made it just off the highway here, where there is apparently is some BLM land, which is going to be really popular to me. And actually, I drove 38 miles today, so I hit my goal exactly. There's even some perks of this little spot where I'm parked. Looks like we got our own. No, I don't really know what it is, but yeah. It's there. Not bad. Now, in case you're new to my channel, 
The idea here is to drive really slow, like slower than I don't think anybody's ever driven Route 66, 35 to 40 miles a day, 2,400 miles in two months. Yeah, that's pretty darn slow, but it allows me to experience a lot more of it. And I think it's kind of unique because a lot of people have to just race through to get somewhere else and they make a few stops along the way where I can pretty much almost stop anywhere I want and find a whole bunch of really funky places to call it night, you know, park for the night. I wouldn't really call it camping, although I'm gonna do some camping, but when I find spots like these, I call them overnight parking spots, as that, that's how I put it. Oh. And I'm perfectly happy with it, you know? I don't need anything, I've got solar. Um, the beard here, yeah, I am growing it out again, as many of you have already noticed. I uh, can't make up my mind, but uh, what I'm going to do is let it grow for two months. This is going to be the Route 66 beard. So here we are just a couple hundred miles into it from Los Angeles. And <laughs> we'll see what it looks like when I get to Chicago here in a couple months. But I'm not going to trim it. I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to let it grow and see what it does naturally. I'm, I'm terrified too, guys. Believe me. Wow. What? Wow. But Oh, I, I don't speak cat. Oh, you don't care? You want to go outside? You do? Okay, I'm going to go explore. All right. Sorry about the wind, Jax. It's been a while since you got to go out and explore and sniff new crazy stuff, huh? Really weird smells, huh? Look at your nose. It's going... Come here. Yeah, your nose is going crazy. What do you smell? Crazy stuff? Watch out for the glass. Ooh, I see glass everywhere. You know what? Let's walk over here. Come here. We're gonna stay out of the glass, okay? Ah, it's everywhere. Oh my gosh, now that I get up this close, there is literally glass everywhere. I would not recommend this spot, guys. Nope, we're done. Too much glass. I don't like it. We're gonna stay inside. Till the sun sets, I'm just gonna work on uh, editing some stuff. I don't show enough of the actual editing because it would absolutely be boring. I could do like a time lapse real quick and just show the next six hours like really sped up, but it's nothing glamorous. It's just me sitting at the computer editing and fixing audio and piecing everything together and creating little picture and pictures and everything. And so, I mean. It's funny because people just see the finished product and they're like, man, Eric, your life's a cake. You just get to explore and do stuff all day. No, I'm only filming and exploring half the day. The other half, I'm just staring and working at the laptop to put it together to present it. So that is the reality of it. Yes, I love my life. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's a lot of fun working this job, but okay, okay, okay. Sending pictures, cool. But you know, it is what it is. So we'll keep doing uh, Route 66 here and uh, keep sharing it with you. This is uh, a lot of fun for me. It is, it's been uh, on my list for many, many years to do Route 66. So, yep, have a good day, night uh, from Jax and I. We'll see you in a couple days. It is starting to get really sexy out here. You guys see this sky? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> hey guys this is Jax my kitty cat I'm his servant Eric thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing if you like the video give us a thumbs up below make sure you subscribe check out all our other videos and keep following us on the road thanks guys